Hello and how is everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. And if you're a returning viewer, I am glad to have you back. In the last episode of Fallout 3, we ended up helping a young boy named Brian Wilkes. Because, well, his family and other families were all burned down due to fire ants that were terrorizing Great Itch. Turns out that a man named Dr. Lesko was actually doing some experiments on the ants. Now don't go thinking he's a bad guy, because Dr. Lesko is... He wasn't a bad guy, he just made a mistake. He's trying to make the ants back to their regular small size. But accidentally miscalculated in his experiments, and the ants somehow got fire-breathing abilities. Um... But we did save little Brian Wilkes. Wilkes. Uh, we told him that we would give him a home. So he's going to be living in his old house until we do that. Now we won't be able to do that for quite a while. Um, but at least he'll have lots of ant meat to eat. Because Dr. Lesko, he did something with his uh, computer and whatnot. Uh, sent out a pulse. And basically made all the ants go crazy. And they attacked and killed each other. So Brian Wilkes, he has lots of food. To eat and he has you know, <coughs> some water because he's near the lake uh, so he's gonna be pretty okay uh, until we till we get our uh, stuff done to get to Ribbit City because that's where his aunt lives and that's where we need to basically go to Vera and talk to her and basically be like hey look um, you know you need to take Brian in so yeah but in this episode <coughs> we're gonna be doing what originally episode 3 was supposed to be um, we're going to be doing the mole rat testing, uh, quest. So let's grab our drinks, grab our snacks, and, uh, let's get into this. Okay, so, uh, let's drop some stuff off. Okay, so we can drop all those off, and these, oh, <coughs> not the teddy bear. Teddy bear can stay with us. Because we're going to be putting it in the back room, but, um, unfortunately we won't be able to put it in the bedroom because <coughs> the bears and stuff can have a tendency to, uh, fall off the, fall behind the bed and stuff. So what we're going to do now, actually, is we're going to sleep for an hour. Um, there's a good old dog meat right there. And then, um, we're going to be going to get the minigun, like I was talking about in the last episode from the Super Mutants. So let's go and do that. All right, so um, what we're going to do, oh, I can take that off. Um, so we're going to go here, Super Duper Mart, and then slowly make our way across here. We're also going to meet uh, Grandma Sparkle, too. I think she's somewhere over here. I'm not exactly sure. Um, if you guys remember, like I said, depending on what side you start on, so we're going to be on here. If we go across here and come up, then the Super Mutants will be here. If we come across this way, it'll just be raiders. Um, if we do both, then we can get lots of stuff. Take them both out. Oh, no, it looks like we got some uh, dogs here. But, luckily enough, we got something called a ripper, which is basically a handheld chainsaw. And it looks like it's not doing very much damage. I'd rather not waste bullets, so... And I died. Oh, God. Yeah, I told you. Hard mode is very hard. So maybe, or very hard, sorry. So maybe what we'll do is we'll drop it down to hard for now. And then once we level up a little bit, we'll, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, drop it back up to hard. Okay. Okay, so let's get our, uh, ripper out. And we can uh, travel back here again. Okay, let's try this again. As you can see, now that we're down on hard, these dogs go go down like nothing. Maybe we'll maybe I'll just kill the dogs and then like, then drop it back up. Do they run away? Yeah, they went around here.
All right, now we can get the dog meat. Okay. There's a white dot over there. What is that? Ibot? Probably. Yeah, it's an Ibot. Looks like we have a dead wastelander over here. Let's check this person out. Oh, it's just a raider. Whatever. Okay, so let's just save this up here. Looks like we need to heal up a bit, actually. Um, didn't do much, but whatever. Uh, I think we need to go, yeah, this way. Okay. Now, I don't think the super mutants are going to appear if I stay on this side. Sometimes they do. It's kind of a mixed match bag. Like, sometimes, so there, I can see the raiders over there right now. Uh, sometimes they will be fighting each other when you come over here, and sometimes they won't be. But we want them to appear in, so we're going to jump down. Man, that looks so nice. I love the um, Washington Monument right there. You guys, we can actually go in there. We actually have to go in there for a story mission anyways. Um, all right, so they're going there. And by the way, I can honestly say I did not actually uh, uninstall the game. That's why when you saw me aiming the gun, that's why I didn't change. I didn't get a chance to do that. I've been quite busy uh, today. Um, okay, so now go over here. The Super Mutants have now appeared. That's good. Um... Okay, so they're going to be battling each other. Oh, and there's random cows. Yeah, this game has random events that make the world feel much more, well, more real. Um, random cows, though. They probably came from Megaton or something. Now, we all know the Super Mutants, I'm assuming Super Mutants are going to win this. We don't really have the materials to uh, get in on this fight. So I think what we're going to do now, I think I'll just uh, actually go back on that side there since they're fighting each other. Um, oh shit. I love this mod. I love how they make the water nice and clear and stuff. Man, it's so good. There is a mod for New Vegas that can do it too. But for, I don't know why, for some reason, the new Vegas water mod isn't as good as the Fallout 3 one. And you think that you could, you could just port some mods to other games because they're just... I mean, they're, they're the same assets and stuff to an extent. Um, so you think they would. But use, so we have Rocket Launcher, hopefully. Okay, so they're fighting each other. They don't even see me. Which is good, because they were in caution now if you... Uh, as you can see. Okay, so there's one. Where's the other guy? Where did he die? Oh, shit, they killed Minigun Man. What? Get out of here, bitch. Awesome. So as you can see, we didn't get experience for killing those guys. Now, how experience works in uh, Fallout 3, and probably Vegas too, I don't really remember. Um, if you... Um, so... Say there's a bunch of people fighting each other, right? Um, and say they're close to being killed. If you could do the final kill, right? Um, you don't get the experience. You actually have to do most of the damage. You just can't run in after and someone's almost dead and just, uh, you know, just steal the experience. You can't do that. Okay, so I believe, so that's over there where we need to go. So we might as well just go over here and take out these, uh, Raiders over here. I can't remember if you can get a thing to make you breathe into water in this game. I know in Vegas you get the rebreather from the boomers. I don't know why, but one of my favorite things I love the red hat in this game. I can't wait till I can get the sunglasses. There's a pair of glasses or sunglasses you can get, and they're called tortoise shell glasses. Oh man, they're so they're cool looking. Oh, shit, what the hell is that? I wish the gun, the handgun would shoot faster. 
for some reason, I don't know why it's not shooting as fast. Um, on the actual PS3 version, I can get him to shoot fast. Maybe it's just my controller. I don't know what it is. Because you can shoot faster than that. Okay, what the hell was up there? There's something that went near me up there. Is it more raiders? Ooh, hunting rifle. Awesome possum robot. I love the hunting rifle in this game. Honestly, I think if I were to do... I know I'm jumping all over the place. I think if I were to do Fallout 4... Um, I'd either play it, I would either do it on normal, or I would do it on easy. And the reason for that is because enemies skill with you, and there's no level up limit in Fallout 4. It's very, very different in terms of that. Um, just like 3 and, and, and Vegas, there are level caps. And 4, there's no level caps, and the enemies just keep leveling with you. And um, the role-playing and character building, I don't want to say it's taken away. Oh, they're the cowards, I don't have to worry. Um... But, as I was saying, basically, um, the character building, in a sense, is kind of gone. Oh, right, we were going to meet Grandma Sparkle. Oopsies. See, I'm getting so... Um, I start talking, and then I forget what, I, what we're doing. Um, but, no, the character building, in a sense, is kind of gone. Um, because you're not limited to, like, uh, like New Vegas, we did, like, a... An, almost like an assassin type character where we used long range weapons and we built our stealth up and we were sneaking stuff. Um, in this game, we're probably going to do the same, except I'm really going to build into energy weapons because energy weapons are pretty powerful in this game. Um, but in Fallout 4, you can pretty much, you can do it. If you can level up enough, you can put every perk and every skill in the game into your character. So you can literally be this god character. Um, which kind of takes away from the role playing, right? It's it's not. I don't want to say it's not fun. I mean, cause follow for it can be fun depending on how you play it. I tend to limit myself. I don't do every single perk or anything. So let's just wait, cause she's inside and it's bad to go inside. Cause it said red. Um, is she not gonna come back out? Usually they run away when enemies. And bad thing, they're nearby. <coughs> but we killed all the raiders and stuff. So where we're going is right over there. Okay, why isn't she coming out? So let's wait, I guess, 24 hours and see if she appears. If not, then if I remember... Um, We'll have to do it on the way back. Now, it's going to be kind of dangerous in in, uh, in the sewers where we got to go. Because we got to go... No, not the sewers. I think it's, it's either the sewers or the metro tunnels. I think it's metro tunnels we're going to again. And that's why we didn't bring dog meat. Actually, to be totally honest, 9 times out of 10, we're probably just not going to have dog meat with us at all. But it's just nice to have someone at home. Grandma's shack. So I'm just going to save this here because I really don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to. She might get. What the hell? Where'd she, Where'd she go? <laughs> she clearly ran in here. Oh, there she is. I guess the game just didn't load her in. Well, look at this. We got us a wanderer all the way out here in Wilms Wharf. You must got some important business out here to be wandering around, but taint none of my beeswax what you're doing. But if you're interested in trading, maybe we can help each other. Well, what are you doing all the way out here, Grandma Sparkle? My boys are hunting lurks. Finest meat you could get, but he don't move around in your stomach like Mole Rat does. Right dangerous, those things. Just as soon take your head off as look at you. Watch yourself out here. They're all over. That's true. My looks are pretty dangerous in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. If you guys remember the uh, My Lurk, I think it's the Kings or whatever. Oh no, sorry, the Kings are in 4. Anyway, there's My Lurk ones that stand up. If you guys remember, uh, in the Giant Lake, 
Uh, I don't think they're in this one. Is there anything going on here? Some fellows came out here a while ago that said they was looking for some do-gooder that came out from one of them vaults. I told them I ain't seen nobody like that and sent them on their way. They might still be around here, though, if you think you can help them. So those guys, um, we're going to see them, you know, eventually in the playthrough. Uh, those are called the Talon Company, and they're a bunch of mercenaries. Um, and basically, um, if we do good, they come after us because we're being too good. If we're bad, there's also a good group of mercenaries that go around killing good, uh, killing bad guys. Um, and you can actually work for them because eventually, when you, I think you, when you get your karma up, either all the way high or all the way bad, I think you get a letter or something. I can't remember exactly how it works, but uh, yeah. And um, you kill bad guys and you take their fingers and you trade their fingers for caps and stuff like that. Um, so basically removing the world uh, of bad while also making uh, money. So it's pretty good. Um, but I don't think that'll happen for quite a while. But uh, let's see here, I'm interested in trading. Let's see what you got. So she only has a tire iron, but that'll help us eventually, though, because we, um, okay, so let's get rid of these. We can fix this up. Uh, we got the minigun, that's good. Um, get rid of this. And now, like I said, for trading, um, oof, just like that. Okay, let's see. So I think that's all. Yeah, so that's all she's got. Usually she has Mike Myler meat on her, but I don't know why she doesn't now. Um, okay, not that I want to do this, but might as well get her health up by drinking. Now this is nine rads a second, so this obviously is not smart. You can see how fast the radiation bar is going up. It kind of sucks, especially when your health is, uh, or sorry, when you level up and your health is pretty high. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go down here. And, um, so we gotta go there. So we need to come up here. Now, I believe there are some centaurs, and I think there is uh, a captive being held by the super mutants over here, but I could be wrong. Yep. Yeah. So there's a white clear dot you can see, which means I'm pretty sure that means that they got one. At least with the hunting rifle, it's not too bad. Like, I can still kind of see where I'm aiming. God damn it, those Brahmins are attacking the centaur. I missed. Oh, shit. Oh, I missed. Oh, they're fighting that one now. Nice. So these Brahmins will also attack me. So I might as well just get rid of them too. Because uh, they're called Mad Brahmins. So basically, they're basically just kind of like mad cow disease kind of thing where the cows are, have like disease and stuff. I guess. I don't know. It, they're just called mad cows. I'm just giving them a backstory of my own. Which I probably shouldn't do um, for people who haven't watched this game before. I don't know. It's just it's a random encounter. I just like pretending things. Now they have meat too, which is really good. Um, okay. I don't know. I just love. I know I keep I keep saying this, and I'm probably going to keep saying it a lot, but I love the look of this game. Like just the visuals, how everything. Just I don't know. I I, I love this game a lot looks so good and nice um so what do we got so i know we have a super mutant guarding here repair that shotgun so you can hear that guy yelling help wait did he kill him no there's one inside still okay where is the mutant inside i think Oh, he's a brute. Hurry up and die! I'm hungry! 
Oh shit. Jump, here we go. Move top. Can't wait till we get a uh, Gatling uh, laser. Oh man, I love those things. But those are like mid to late game weapons. We won't get them for a while. So basically we're going to kill this guy and then we're going to save our uh, wasteland friend there. Because this guy's driving me a little bit crazy. Let's rip her him up. Oh, let's see here. Who wins this? Okay, we almost died there. Sledgehammer, that's good. It's getting pretty dark out. What time is it? Uh, 7 p.m. Alright, um, so I guess we'll rest here for the night. We'll save this guy here and then we'll rest here for the night. Alright. Um, untie him. Thank you. Thank you so much. I thought I was dead for sure. Here, I managed to hide these supplies before they tied me up. You take them. It's the best I can do to thank you. Uh, no. You'll, you'll need it more than I will. You keep it. You're right. It's dangerous out here. I, I have to go before more of them come. So you get good karma. Um, I can't remember if you get good karma if you take the stuff or not from them. Um... But I don't like to do that. I mean, yeah, it's extra supplies for you to help some stuff, but I like to think that them keeping whatever they have, um, you know, helps them out. So this here, Keller Family Transcript, um, leads to a whole story quest that's going to take quite a while to do. Um, we're not going to do it now. Okay, let's see here. So 7 p.m., that's 7 a.m. We'll do that. Um, there are five um, <coughs> five passwords. I can't... Now, there is a way to get into the... It's basically a bunker. I'm not going to say the whole thing. But there is a, um, a little story that's tied to it. Now, we may not get all of the uh, transcripts because there is a way to kind of glitch your way in that... Um, in that bunker, which we'll probably do that, to be honest, because finding the um, transcripts, they, they take forever. They're all over the map. There's five of them. And I know, I think one's at River City. I can't remember where the other three are. Um, okay, so let's grab our hunting rifle out. So there's a Mirelick right there. These things are actually pretty dangerous, like Grandma Sparkle said. Especially if you're not prepared. Now, if you get them when they're far away, you don't have too much of a problem. But if they get up close sometimes, you know, you're going to have a bad time. And this is what I mean. The hunting rifle is pretty good. And there's that guy. He's running across the... Okay. Oh, jeez. All right, so we got its head. Ah, no. Oh, shit. Oof, we got lucky there. And we're out of ammo. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, we got shotgun ammo. Ow. As you can see, he took a good Ow. chunk. Ow. As you can see, they take a good chunk of health out. Where look at me. All oh, right, perfect. All right, so let's go. Alrighty. So this place up here, if I remember correctly, is where we're going to get my glasses, I think. Because this guy's pretty hilarious. I think it's just some, yeah, just uh, some, so we can just use the rip around these guys. Get some, uh, get some meat here. There's a couple of rad roaches over here.
And I think that's about it. All right. So I think before we uh, do that, which is literally right over there, I th I'm pretty sure. And that's yeah, Dukov's place. Yeah. Um. So there are some more or more uh, rad roaches down here. Might as well get these because I mean we're gonna need the extra you know uh, health anyway. Oh, there it is. It's kind of weird. Sometimes they attack you, sometimes they don't. Um, I think we're good to go now. Yeah, okay. Um, this guy's pretty funny. He's not very appropriate. Uh, let's just put it that way. He's a <clears throat> drunken sex sex guy. I don't know how to word it. Um, so just a heads up on that one. Never mind. You need a drink. Sherry, I'm thirsty over here. Who are those girls and where are their clothes? Ha <laughs> ha! They're my party girls. I'm too much man for just one woman, so I need two. <laughs> I wear them out every night. Why should they bother getting dressed when I'm just going to take it off? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, what are you doing? Way out here by yourself. Eating, drinking, farting, and screwing! Ha <laughs> ha! Out here, nobody bothers me. I can do whatever I like to whoever I want. Um, let's see here. Can I have some of that stuff? Help yourself, clown shoes. Grab one from the liquor cabinet. I never trust anyone without a drink in their hand. Of course, I never trust one that does either! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. So, as you can see, he drinks a lot. Um, obviously, we don't want to touch any of these bottles and stuff. Um, lots of lots of drinking, <laughs> as you can see. Very lots, and lots of money, too. Um, what I do want, though, is... The thing that I do want is right over here, I think. Tortoiseshell glasses, yeah. So, we got to... It's kind of hard to... Do it? No, not that. I want... Did I just glitch them? I think I did. Ah, damn it. Hey, let's get wasted. I mean really stinking drunk. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to re reload this, I guess. Um... Who the hell are you? Blah, blah, blah. And then we just kind of go blah, blah, blah. So basically what I'm going to do is he's going to get hostile. Now the thing is, people, when they go hostile, if you leave, right, um, and you come back like two or three days later, they're basically okay with you. Um, so I'm just going to grab these, run. Oh, I guess he doesn't care. Okay, whatever, let's go. Um... I think there is a quantum in here, but I can't remember. I don't want to spend too much time in here because you know we want to get that story done. That uh, we want to get the mole rat testing done. Hey, what the heck? Who's that? Oh, what the heck? What's going on here? Who's that guy? That is very strange. He looks like he's wearing like a black power armor or something. So I guess the best course of action is a minigun. What is going on? Who's that guy? He looks pretty dangerous. Ow. He's got a laser rifle, that's for sure. Enclave, so, oh shit, the Enclave are here? Oh boy, that can't be good. The Enclave in the uh, in the capital wasteland on the east coast. I thought they were only on the west coast. What the hell's going on here? Oh man, he's definitely taking that damage. Um, 
Hmm, shit, what are we gonna do? He seems really, uh, alright, let's see if these do, oh god. Wait. These still alive? Who's shooting like, oh, <laughs> what the hell? Stupid iBot, god damn, I got killed by an iBot. That's just hilarious. Alright. Alright, so let's just, let's try this again. I don't know, that's kind of strange that the Enclave is here. Um, okay, so I want to get him close to the car, and then hopefully we can do more damage and blow him up with, to get the car damage. I mumbled a bunch of words. I don't know if that even came out properly. Um, Alright, um... Um, okay, where's that iBot? Yeah, fuck you, Mr. iBot. Oh, man, this is not going good. Um, is the Ripper gonna do good? Probably not. Oh god, it, oh, the explosion killed me. God damn it. Oh man. Well, like I used to say during New Vegas, if I don't, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a New Vegas video if I didn't die. Oh boy. Um, Alright. So, as you can see, the Enclave are very dangerous. I mean, we knew that from New Vegas that they were pretty powerful, but. Uh, Okay, perfect. You stand by that, comp by that, uh, whoops, yeah. Nice. Nice, we got him. And we got him. Okay, so let's, uh, definitely get our healing up. Okay, um, so where's that iBot? Oh, the iBot apparently is not hostile anymore. That's really strange. Let's go see if he has anything on him. Where are you, Mr. Enclave guy? Oh, that's different power armor from, uh, the East Coast. Or the West Coast, I should say. Um... Looks pretty cool. I actually think that's pretty interesting looking uh, armor. Um, he's got a laser, laser rifle. Um, that. Now, just like Fallout New Vegas, um, we do need power armor training to wear Enclave armor. Um, I am going to grab it, though. And then we can take it home with us. Oh, right. Might as well put those glasses on. I don't know, I love these glasses. My favorite. Anyways, um... Alright, so we're going to need our repellent stink, uh, stick now. <coughs> it's kind of strange that the Enclave is here on the uh, East Coast, so I wonder, I wonder what they're doing here. I wonder what they want. I mean, because they were destroyed back at Navarro. Are they rebuilding? Are they trying to take over again? I guess we'll we'll have to find out. Um, see, so we got a repel on the stick. All right, so let's test it out. Oh God. <laughs> um. Well, Moira, your <laughs> repel on the stick blows their head off. No. But we gotta do it to ten of them. That's what it says. We have to do it to ten. After I think it's like six or seven or something. But we might as well do the do everything like the uh, optional stuff too. Okay. Completed three. No, because we want to do more.
No, fuck. Oh, there's a raider. I don't know if this hurts people or not, but... <coughs> Alright, um... So this is something that I was concerned about. Oh god, that's terrible. Oh man. No. <laughs> so I guess I'm using laser rifles and bats too. Yeah, I definitely, definitely gonna have to um, reinstall the game. Oh my god. Oh man, that's so bad. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, okay, so I wanted to repair these. Out of all the Raider armor, that's my favorite Raider armor. Um, okay, so where is the... Wait, where is it? Oh, it's over here. Oh man, that's so terrible. Wait for the AP to go up. And of course you had to miss. <laughs> okay, I gotta get closer I guess then. So it kind of sucks because they could have used those mole rats to um, do the repellent stick with. Um, okay, it looks like oh, it looks like there's more. Are they dead? Oh, I can hear some. Oh, nice try. Oh, jeez. Uh, I can't get me now. I, unless I, unless you can, I don't know. Um, oh God, I'm stuck. No, <laughs> God damn it. Oh boy. Okay. Um, yeah, that sucks with the laser rifle though. Okay, if we're quick enough, hopefully. All right, so let's get these ones again. Math two. Apparently I'm over encumbered somehow. Oh, right. Boop. Now that's three. But, obviously we want to do the optional stuff because, I mean, we want <coughs> science and blah 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 and all that crap. Um, okay. Oh, jeez, what did I do? Or don't. How about we get up? Oh, that one's still alive. Hey, what's up? No! Alright. All 
All right, so let's take out the uh, stupid thingy. Nice. There we go. Oh man, I really, yeah, like I said before, I really don't know why it's, it's doing that. Um, what's in here? We didn't look in here last time. Man, man, it looks like it's just a, like a power room or something, whatever. Um, okay, let's go back down. I believe we're going this way. All right, so now we're gonna try and take out the uh, what do you call it, the raider with who had that. Uh, you yeah, know what's up? Hopefully, I did. Oh, forty-five. Mm. Oh, we did get him, or her, I should say. Oh shit. Huh. <laughs> nice, there we go. So looks like now we can repair our uh, shotgun, which is pretty nice. Rock salt's key. Hmm. Awesome. Ow. Holy shit, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, okay. Um, what does beer do? Mates are a strength one. I don't like drinking, but um, I don't like using drinks and stuff like that in the game, but whatever. Okay. Oh, Magnum ammo. I mean, they were smart to, to play his mines and stuff around here. I hate, I hate how you get stuck in there sometimes. Well, looks like we got some more of these guys. Hey, what's up? Boink. Oh, we got two more here. I wonder who let all the mole rats in here. <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, I don't even know. No. And I think they might have messed everything up for us. Stupid raider. Oh, nice critical strike. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, what's in here? Lock terminal easy. We'll check that out after. Nice. I'm hoping there's more, um, oh, he's alive, um, I mean dead, um, let's eat all this small rat stuff, alright, let's check what's in here, can I, oh, alright, so we just use rock salt ski, um, let's see, what, what do we got in here, um, paint, uh, what's that, yeah, paint gun, Let's see here. What else do you got? Oh, it's scrap metal. That's useful. Um, personal foot locker. Oh, power fist. We can use that to repair uh, the um, uh, Fisto. The special one that we got back home. So that's always good. Oh, we got some more mole rats here.
weekend you where is it right here optional so we did the optional one nice so now we have to go back to uh what's her name moira and basically tell her hey look your uh mo, mo rat repellent kind of blows her head up <clears throat> Did I just go around in a circle? Oh wait, what's in here? Tool cabinet. A knife. Ooh. Ooh, it's scrap metal. That's useful. Another scrap metal. So, um You have become addicted to medic, so oh, fun. Alright, so let's uh, let's go back now. Oh, look at this. Lots of stuff here. What's that? Railway spikes. Those are useful. Um. Let's see here. You have currently... Oh, right. So I can make a bunch of them. Um. Zero crutches. Steam gauge assembly. So maybe we'll just collect stuff to make another one. So if we see like a crutch or something, we can just, you know, grab it. Um, okay, let's try and get out of here somehow. I'm getting all turned around. What the heck? Georgetown. Hmm. I guess we're farther in downtown now. Or down, yeah, downtown. Okay, so where am I? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Yeah, so remember the guys I said who were looking for me? Those are those guys. Oh man, this is a bad place to come out. This place is full of super mutants. Like they said, da like they said the downtown is full of them. I don't want to deal with those guys. Okay, let's try and go as far away as we can. And then, uh, you know, then we can hopefully fast travel. Because you can't fast travel uh, when you're near guys. Just like Fallout 3. I mean Vegas, I mean. Yeah, I can't travel when enemies are nearby. God damn it. I don't want to fight them. Okay, well, it says hidden. So can I now, maybe? Nope. Ah, damn it. Um, num, 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 num. okay. How am I going to do this? Okay, I do got to drop some stuff. Alright, let's go. Um... God damn it, Centaur 2. Uh, this is not going how I wanted it to. <clears throat> That's for sure. Um, when this guy went down last time pretty easy with the uh, hunting rifle. It'd be nice if we could hit him, though. Oh shit. Um, I don't know what else do we got. Screw it, you can walk on mines. I tend to use these as, as uh, grenades sometimes too, as you can see. Alright. So we can get it far away from the fighting. Okay, hopefully this is good enough. Okay, so we can. So let's save this right here. So we're 
right in the downtown area. This is, we got all down here, and we got all in here too. And then we got all of this. Pretty big, pretty big, uh, pretty big world. Um, no, not Vault 101. No. Hmm. I can't remember if this is the last part of the book or not. I honestly can't remember. Yeah, four o'clock. Okay, not too bad. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I tested the mole rat repellent extensively. Oh, excellent. Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. <laughs> what more could I ask for in a research assistant? So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's like explosive uh, whack-a-mole rat. Can I get it in bullet form for people? <laughs> it's horrible. You are horrible. Oh, this thing is horrible. Everything's horrible. Oh. With that much testing, I guess it's beyond correction. Oh, Go ahead and keep it. Maybe you can find a nicer use for it, but I doubt it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, but for your trouble, uh, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. Two jets. I'm just going to sell them back to her. Um, I'm ready for more research on the second chapter. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I wouldn't ask if I couldn't fix you up afterwards, of course. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to hate myself for this, but what do you mean about handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. <laughs> but obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Uh, I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well come here when I do. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two, and I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. <laughs> How can you be careful and get horribly injured at the same time? See ya. That's hilarious. Um, so basically we need to do 50% health uh, damage or less. Now the easiest way to do this, the way I do it all the time, is... Um, okay, so I'll heal myself all the way up. And then what I tend to do... Um, make sure there's no one around here. Because if you damage anyone else, of course, um, that's not good. So I usually do that. What I'll do is I'll save this right here. And I tend to just use grenades and just, you know, damage myself with them. There we go. And we are good to go. There we go. And we did both. Well, how do you feel? Do you seriously want me to go out and hurt myself for a book? Why not study injuries yourself? If it help, I could shoot you in the gut. This really hurts, you know. Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Um, 
the adrenaline helps, so uh, throw it at the fear of death. There's a lot in both. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. And it does help when you're sewing up wounds and setting bones, too. That seems like it'd be tough to do alone. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? Oh, jeez. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. <laughs> Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. And the last part is about my alerts, right? Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Sneaking into a Myrlurk lair? The pay had better be worth it. Alright, I'll try. Well, let's do that one. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Myrlurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods. Probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. So this one <coughs> is a bit of a pain in the ass. <coughs> so it is optional, but obviously we're going to do the optionals, of course. Um, yeah, basically we have to get in there, place the pod, and get out. And it can be a bit more difficult than it sounds doesn't sound hard, but when you have a bunch of them chasing you, it's, uh, it's a bit of a pain. Okay, so let's um, drop our caps off here. Um, we're going to drop the uh, power armor up here. Back. I never noticed there was like a cat sticker on the side of it. Is that a cat sticker? What is that? Or a vault boy or something. I don't know. I never noticed that before. Okay. So the environment suit is... Um, gives us plus five to medicine, which is really good. And it gives us a radiation resistance of plus 30, which is obviously very good also. Um, I'm going to drop all the drugs into the fridge and we can sell them later okay so we got lots of nuka colds pretty far uh, so far it's pretty good I wish you could take one at a time So we'll take half of those, and uh, looks like we're good to go. Okay. Um, so what do we got here? Oh, right. We were going to fix our uh, fifth row. So we got it conditioned halfway, which is pretty good. Um... do that. Knife can go away. Ripper, repellent snake can go away. I do want the baseball bat though. Because it does a good amount of damage against people. I can't remember. Do we have a combat knife? I honestly can't remember. And we don't. Yeah, okay. Um, minigun can go away. Rocket launcher can go away. Um... Drop that off, and that off. And we should be good to go. Okay. Um, Alright, so let's see. Wait, what? It's good to see you alive and well, sir. Good morning, sir. What can I do? So let's see if we can get some more water. Sir. One, two, three, four. I think he does six. I can't remember. No, he does five. Okay. Okay, so let's just drop all these waters in there. Alright, let's go. 
I think it's every two days, every three days, uh, he does that. Alright, so let's save this up here. And, um, Anchorage Memorial. Okay, so we can, cause really close to Dukov's house, so we can just go to Tepperd Sewers, and then just walk across. Oh, man. This one is a bit of a pain. Okay. Memorial service entrance. Yeah, as you see, there's some eggs over there. <clears throat> we need to put them in the eggs right in the center of the the place. Anchorage Memorial. Can we get up on these rocks? No. Oh, come on. Such a pain in the ass to go all the way around. It's kind of annoying. Are you serious? How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Oh my god. <clears throat> That's kind of annoying. There we go. Now we're finally here. Now sometimes there are some random encounters up on that top area. Let's just check real quick. Sometimes there is, sometimes there is not. Oh god, Deathclaw. Oh, he's one of the... Okay, so he's one of the damaged ones. That's fine. Um, We can literally just use a handgun. He's not a threat. As long as he doesn't get close to us. There we go. And like I said before, Deathclaw hand. <clears throat> you can have to make a Deathclaw uh, gauntlet. And you can smack people around with the claws. It's pretty cool. Um, Alright, so let's save this up and let's head inside. And as you notice, we didn't get experience for taking out that Deathclaw because, well, he was already 50% damaged at least. It'd be so much easier if I had a stealth boy or something. So I could just literally sneak right in. Um, but yeah, so we can't kill any of them. Oh god, this is so bad. So we really literally have to run all the way to whoever it says. I think I just went around in a circle. I did. Ah, oh, man. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, three more books. Oh, there's three of them. Wow. Oh. Ow. Um, yeah, I have no idea, like I said, where I'm going. I'm guessing this way. Unless I'm going around in a circle again. Which I am. Uh, what are those operations? What's in here? Wait, if I close this, hopefully they can't open doors. Oh, thank god. Okay. I think we're safe in here. Let's get out of here. Free more money. Ooh. Well, we can grab all of them and we can just sell that stuff. Another baseball bat. That's always good. Um, okay. Alright, so let's just save this here. Oh, so this looks like a doctor area. I've never really, super, like, honestly explored this place before. To be honest, like, I've always just ran through here. Because, I mean... Sometimes they don't break off the chase. There's a lot of the times where they'll just, you know, keep after you. Um, 
and we don't have a level 50. Damn it. Um, blood pack. Take all these tubing. Oh, medical journal. That's uh, useful. Because it increases our medicine by one. All right, let's go. Um, what's this? Okay. Um, let's try it. Oh, medical. Is that medical bay? Oh boy. Okay, yeah. So I uh, yeah. So this is where we want to go. So we want to go all the way down to the bottom, and then we want to place the thing and get the hell out. Bye bye. Oh god, there's so many of them. This is like, uh, okay. Um, I would hide observer device in. Now let's get the hell out of here. Okay, now we gotta have to get all the way ba <coughs> back upstairs. Oh god, that's a big one. I mean, there's nothing stopping us from coming back here later and taking them out. Oh shit, come on, get down the stairs. There we go. Oh god, that's a big one. Ah. Um, what's this door? Facility bay. No, shit. Oh boy, this is not fun. Um, what's this? Activate switch. Open that door. Hurry up. Thank god. Oh, uh, close. Holy crap. Oh my god, there's more of them? How the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> oh god. Um, I feel bad for these wastelanders. They're literally just trying to live their life. And the Myrlers were like, nope. Oh, thank god. Okay. It's kind of dark outside. What time is it? Uh, it's 9 p.m. Makes sense. All right. I really like the light uh, the light mod that I got. As you can see, all the light uh, switches come on. Oh man, I really like that. Okay, now can I fast travel? No, I get one in the water again. God damn it. Let's just go across the way here. Where am I going? Near Grandma Sparkle House? Great Itch, Wellsworth. Okay, so if I go this way, we'll eventually should eventually end up at Grandma Sparkle's house. I'm I'm assuming. I can't really. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going. All right. Whoops. Yeah. I think, yeah, Grandma Sparkle's house is right there. Nice. And she's sitting outside in the dark. Hey, Granny. Holy shit, Granny's wearing uh, Raider armor. That's pretty sweet. Where the hell did she get that, though? That's cool. She's never done that in any of my games before, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, so we should be safe here. Um... Alright, so let's save this. I always like to save before I fast travel. Um, Alright, so let's go back to Megaton now. And I think this concludes the... Um, what do you call it? Wasteland Survival Guide. Whoops. Oh, I wasn't even walking on the stairs. I do like the nighttime mod, though, to be honest. Like, it makes way more sense. It might, it might be a lot harder to see. Um, it might make things a lot harder to see, but realistically, um, I mean, there, uh, there'd be no light pollution or anything, right? I mean, everything's been destroyed. There's almost no power anywhere. I mean, except for the odd few places, like the undergrounds and the, um, you know, towns and stuff. But, I mean, realistically, it's going to be super dark at night. So, that's one thing, I, I kind of understand why Bethesda doesn't make it that dark in their base game. I kind of wish they did, but um, I can understand it would make things a lot harder for, 
you know, the, um, like the, uh, I don't know how to explain, how to say this properly. Um, for the more general uh, public people who play the game, not like the fans, like the hardcore fans and stuff. Um, so I can understand. Um, we picked up some caps, I think. Um, we did, so let's just drop these off. We can drop some of that off. We want to drop that leather belt off. All that. I think we need a toy car. I can't remember. Okay, so we got some pretty good stuff. All right. Um, let's <coughs> sell some of that stuff to the doctor down here and get some medical supplies. So, because we're running out of stim packs, that's for sure. You'd best have cancer because, from the looks of you, you're breaking rule number one right now. Yeah, he really doesn't like it if you talk to him or bother him, um, if there's nothing wrong with you. Okay, let's see here. What can we sell? Um, sell that. Um, we have some at home, so we don't, we can sell those. Um, get rid of these. And I think we can get, what, two? Yeah, so I have three, three caps left over, and I see energy cell. Now I'll keep them. These darts are going to be useful later on. You done? Whoops. All right, let's go. All right, let's go to Moira. And tell her that we've uh, completed the quest. So, are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king or priest? <coughs> or some sort of scaly community center? It's kind of funny because they do have to do have kings and queens. I think they do. Yeah, they do have kings and queens. You do see the, the kings uh, in Vegas. And you see the queens in Fallout 4. And man, are they massive. Holy shit, are they big. And very, very strong. You definitely don't want to fight them one-on-one. -on -one unless you absolutely have to. They're very difficult. <coughs> Anyways. Um, I slipped the observer in with the eggs. And they're none the wiser. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. <laughs> I've been getting a good signal, but what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? I see a strength. They don't seem to fight each other, so no struggle for leadership. Oh, really? Maybe their leader figures are bred. Sort of like ant queens. I wonder if relocating a Mirelurk king would prompt the others to move. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these, so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Three stealth boys, sweet. And the shady hat. Is that all the research for the second chapter? Absolutely. I'm glad to finish it up. I bet you're even happier, right? Just one last chapter now, and it's much safer. I promise. Oh, and here's your payment. Two big boxes full of ammo. Think of it as insurance, in case the next chapter isn't as safe as I predict. Oh, jeez. All right, um, I'm ready to start the researching the next chapter. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole. And how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed. How to harness the old technology. And I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now. So let's finish it up strong. What's first? 
Okay. So, local history. That one's gonna take a little bit, so we won't. So we're not gonna be able to finish this quest up. Um, I think until we hit River City, because that's where we need to go eventually. Um, using old technology sounds interesting, and I could check the library. Maybe there's someone's already written a book like yours. Actually, I have to wait a bit. So, um, eventually, after I can't remember which one it is, but it's one we can do the library one right now. Um, but then when we get to the part where we have to get like local history and stuff, um, that one is gonna have to be put on hold. Uh, until we hit uh, Rivet City, because I don't want to go all the way there yet. I'd rather hit Rivet City and do all the things we have to do there, right? Or at least mo uh, some of the things we do there and then come back. Um, like, I'd rather do some things and then, uh, example, we get to Rivet City, um, we go talk to Vera. And then, while we're talking to Vera, after that, we do uh, the local history. And then when that's done... We uh, go back to Brian, tell him, <coughs> and then after that, we can come back here and do uh, tell her about history and stuff. So this one's going to take a little bit of a, a little while. Um, local history using old technology. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? Just go and connect the widget to a mainframe. I can do that. Mainframe, not a mainframe. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Um. Let's just see what she has for sale. Ooh, rocket launcher is smart. Oh, man. Um, see, this is pretty useful. Um, at least earlier in early game. Because <coughs> this here, the rocket launcher, um, it's actually renamed Junk Jet in Fallout 4, I believe. But the rocket launcher, what it actually does, uh, once you build it, um, you can literally just stuff garbage in it, and you can use garbage, like tin cans, <coughs> um, uh, the uh, bottles, <clears throat> anything, any type of uh, junk that you got, you can use it as ammo, which is pretty cool. <coughs> but it's a bit expensive, being uh, over a thousand caps, which <laughs> we only have three. Um, so we can do that, um, you know, once we get enough caps and stuff. Okay, so we're going to drop these stealth boys off. Do, 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 do. Okay, so where is the Romco facility? Oh god, it's way down there. Um, yeah, we can do that. And then after that one, uh, we'll leave the episode here. You know, um, because like I said, uh, doing the other one's going to take quite a while. Oh, whoops. Uh, stealth boys can go up with stealth boys in here. Perfect aid. Uh, so yeah, stealth boys can go in there. I believe the shady hat gives us like stealth or something. So yeah, it does a sneak plus five and perception plus one, which is pretty useful. All right. Um, let's see here. Drop off the nuki colies, and I think we are good to go. Miscellaneous, yeah, we already dropped all that stuff off. Might as well drop the caps in there. Um, just give us a good old save. All right, let's go. 
Actually, we should check what weapons we have. <coughs> um, I'm going to drop the laser rifle off, actually. Okay, let's go. So, we have to walk all the way down here. So, I guess what we're going to do is we'll just periodically turn the radio on again because we want to listen to 3Dog. And hopefully, we don't get any music. kind of hard to hear um whoops but it's that time again according to reports from the ever so hoity toity ten penny tower a group of displaced ghouls have been trying to gain entrance ah but lush at large alistair Okay, so the reason why it was kind of quiet like that <clears throat> is because, well, we need to fix Three Dogs' um, radio. Because <clears throat> basically, um, what happened was, he explains it to you, is, um, let's turn the radio down. <clears throat> um, basically, what happened is um, that downtown... Uh, one of the super mutants decided it'd be funny to shoot at the shiny round thing, as he calls it. Um, uh, he's talking about the radio dish. And there's a whole story quest. We have to go and uh, fix the radio dish so Galaxy News Radio can be, you know, played all around the, the land. Um, but we're going to do that. That's We're going to do that in a different episode, of course. Oh, someone tried to rocket launcher at me. What the hell's going on? Whoa. What the hell? Oh, a raider has a rocket launcher? Oh, this is not good. Um. Hi, what's up? Oh, you missed. Nice, we got him. I missed. God damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> I forgot about Rocket Launcher Boy. Nice. Okay, where is he? No, no. Don't be stupid. Oh, he's not. Hey, he's got a combat knife, I think. He does. I'm stealing your knife and your Rocket Launcher. Sorry, but you already, uh, you started it, so. God damn it. Yeah, hiding in the bush ain't gonna help, bud. No! Oh god. Oh! Please hit him. No, you missed. Oh god. Oh god, I missed again. Oh, 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 oh my god. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh boy. Okay. What's going on? What were they fighting? 
come to Okay. I have no idea what they were fighting. Okay. Alright, so let's try this again. <clears throat> again, maybe we can get some uh, Galaxy Radio guy here. Okay. Now, wasn't that interesting? <clears throat> James went and talked to... James is their character, it's father. Three Dog just said that uh, James went and talked to Three Dog. <clears throat> so maybe eventually we're going to go to Three Dog and maybe Three Dog will tell us a bit about our dad. Maybe he knows where our dad went. Maybe he knows what our dad's doing. Maybe he knows why he left. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Eventually, we're going to talk to Three Dog and uh, hopefully get some information. But that was uh, some pretty important information there. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm going to let the Raiders fight this thing. They can deal with that Scorpion. Oh, they got it. And now they're going to get me. Oh, shit. I was joking. I was joking. I don't want you to actually get me. Um, oh, boy. What's up? Me first. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. No, I definitely don't like that. How about this? I'll get you from above. Do you like this? And I missed him. Oh. oh. Nice, we crippled his torso. Ow. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Alright. Well, <clears throat> since we keep getting blown up over and over again, um,. I'm just going to get to the Robco facility, and, uh... So I killed know. the guy with the rocket launcher. <coughs> you guys oh god, see me now I have this there. thing chasing after me. Hopefully, hopefully I can make it. Look at some more red dots. Oh my god, there's another scorpion here. Um, yeah, this is, uh, pretty intense right now. Um, holy shit. There's some abandoned houses up here. Oh god, now I got dogs after me? Oh my god. Um, okay, dogs I can take on. And the mini scorpions I can take on. 
just not the big ones. Come on. I need... I mean, it's kind of good that I come across one. Because I do actually need uh, the scorpion poison gland. So that is actually useful. What the... Oh my god, more dogs. God damn it. Yeah, I told you guys. The wasteland is definitely dangerous. It's more dangerous than the Mojave wasteland, that's for sure. Holy shit. Whew. Alright, let's check out these abandoned houses. And looks like we got another iBot down there. Um, yeah, let's check out these burned out, crashed out houses. Sometimes there's stuff in them. Nine times out of ten there's not. I'm guessing this was like a little village or something here. It doesn't look like there's anything here. I'm guessing someone was actually sleeping here at one point. Oh, we got a nice couch randomly here. Let's sit for a second. Relax. <clears throat> Holy shit, that was intense. Because I was honestly just going to record um, when I got there. And then as soon as I took out Rock and Launcher, man, I decided, you know what? Let's just record, <coughs> record me, you know, uh, from running away, you know. Um... I figured it made it would make better for, for entertainment to see me running away from a big uh, thing like that. Um, got pretty crazy. Anyways, let's uh, move on. Let's just save it here. We're safe here, thank God. Um, sometimes these baby carriages are kind of dangerous. Sometimes there's bombs in them. But there's nothing in this one. You'll hear like a clicky sound <coughs> when you go near one and then boom. Man, Wasteland looks so good. I know a lot of people say Fallout 3 hasn't aged very well. And I mean, yeah, the landmass and stuff. Oh my god, I can't even... What is that? Oh, it's a robot. Anytime I try and talk or anything... Stupid robot. Get out of here. Oh boy. Anyways. I was just saying, a lot of people say that Fallout 3 hasn't aged well and whatever. I think it still looks very good, you know? I mean, yeah, I mean, the world from far away, I mean, um, I mean, it doesn't render things in, of course. Um, but I still think it looks amazing. <coughs> um, I mean, if I have to be totally honest, I think that Oblivion, a game that was made a year before this game, um, the engine wasn't as good as this. Um, I think Oblivion still looks, be looks beautiful to this day, like, I don't know, I could play that game, I am technically playing that game on my own, um, I'm planning on doing all the gates and stuff, so it's pretty hard. Oh, another Robobot, I was wondering what the red uh, dot was. Yeah, okay. And good old Tenpenny Tower in the background. We're going to eventually go there. But uh, not in this episode. Also, fun fact. Um, if you chose to blow up Megaton, um, this is where you would go. Uh, you'd come there and talk to the people there. <coughs> you'd also get a place to stay there too. But to be completely honest, Megaton is home is much better than the uh, hotel room. How the uh, Novax um, hotel room looks much better than um, the hotel room that you get there. I mean, because it's literally, literally just one big square room with a balcony. That's all you get. Um, whereas in <coughs> the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Novak uh, house, you get, uh, as you guys saw when we played the game uh, on the channel, <laughs> you get a nice room, you get a bathroom, you get a bed. I mean, you get a bed in the other, in the Tenpenny Tower, too. But, I mean, you get all amenities, you get, like, a TV, you know, storage, all that kind of stuff. Whereas, in Tenpenny Tower, it's very bland, very boring. Three dots over here. What are they, just robots? Oh, this is the junk dealer guy. Now, the cool thing is... <coughs> 
Um, I apologize for all the coughing. I haven't really had a lot of water today. Um, LR3, you can you can actually buy him as a companion. Um, Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. Uh, I'd like to buy a robot. I'm afraid these bots are all spoken for. I'm just delivering them now. I've got a custom gutsy that isn't spoken for, but... Well, RL3's a bit finicky about the company he keeps, and I don't think he likes the look of you. Nothing personal, of course. So I think in order to get LR3, I think you need to be a bad guy. I think. Uh, what are you selling? Various things. Ooh, it's crap metals. Oh, I don't have any caps. Um, um, I mean, I can sell leather armor. Um, that's about it. Okay, good. Uh, so we'll just do that then. Thanks. Yeah. So you need. I think you need to be a bad guy to get LR three. Because I think we're a good guy. I mean, I'm trying to be a good guy, and that's for sure. How do I check if I'm good or not? I honestly forget. Oh, right. Uh, good. We're peacekeepers. So if we go to our thing, we got five quests completed. All this, creatures. And it basically tells you all the things that you've done. Uh, captors. Captors rescued. So we saved one person so far. Uh, you can eat people in this game, but we're not going to do that. Um, yeah. People mezzed. Um, we're not going to do that either, because that's a bad guy thing too. There's like a weapon you get called Mesmatron, and basically <coughs> the slavers give it to you, and, um, you can basically put people into a trance and they can follow you, or you can tell them where to go. Um, there's like a 50-50 chance they'll do that, or their head will just blow up, because it's an experimental pre-war, uh, thing. Um, but we're... We're not gonna do that though, cause we're not we're not playing a bad guy. So, okay. So there's lots of robots here. Um, shotgun did pretty good amount of damage, I think, on them. Um, oh no, they're mole rats. Well, conveniently, we still have our uh, mole rat stick. Or no, we don't. Oops, I guess I forgot it at home. Oh well, we got our puncher thing. <laughs> Get out of here. Oof. Is it just one? I guess so. Um, oh, pre-war book. Now, the pre-war books, as I kind of said earlier, they are, are important. <coughs> um, I can't exactly say why right now. Uh, they are part of a quest, and I believe we go there. Um... For part of, um, actually, if I said maybe I'll go to the library to Moira, <coughs> then, uh, I'm pretty sure we went there. Uh, I mean, I can't even talk right now. If I told Moira, um, maybe someone made something like yours, like the book, um, I'm pretty sure she said, yeah, there's a library here. Lots of, uh, ooh, stealth boys. These are useful. Really? Get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. I do know in the, um, Museum of Technology, I think you get like two or three stealth boys, which are pretty cool. Um, but we will get to that later on. Um, okay, I don't even know. It shows enemies, but I don't know what they are. Are they robobots? Are they... They sound like bugs. Oh, they're just these things. I should have brought my mole rat stick with me. Holy shit, I'm getting spanked. Holy fuck. Jesus. Wow. That one was pretty tough, not gonna lie. Oh. 
Boop. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm guessing we have to go upstairs. Um. How do I get upstairs? I can't remember. This way? Okay, what is this? I think we just came from here. Oh, look at that. We missed scrap metal. And darts. And apparently we missed this locker. Okay, so let's try and go this way and see what happens. Oh, Jesus. That was scary. Um... How do I get upstairs? <laughs> this is gonna bother me. Ooh! Crutches. We need those. And another pre-war book. And big book of science. That's always good too. Um, big book of science. We'll give our self science by one. That's always good. Um, yeah. So how do we get upstairs? It's been a while since I've- are you alive? You are. Boink, not anymore. <laughs> um... Okay, so we haven't been in here yet. Okay, so let's see here. Scrap metal. Um. Ooh, steam gauge assembly. That's important. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we got fission batteries. We need a pressure cooker. Two, one, one. Oh, I need a pressure cooker. That's all I need. Huh. Bottle cap mine. Ooh, leather armor. Obviously, we're not going to get a pressure cooker here. Um, oh, there we go. That's how we get upstairs, I guess. Do 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 do. Um, okay. Boink. Boop, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Okay, so this literally goes nowhere. Okay, um, so I guess we're going this way then. I still can't believe <coughs> how hard that uh, mole rat was to take out. What's this? Offices and cafeterias. So we need to go there, but let's explore up here a little bit in the offices. So there's nothing here. Okay. Alright, so let's save this here. Nope. No, oh, I missed. Oh god. Oh man. There's bigger ones in here. Cool. All right, let's see what do we got here. <clears throat> so this is the cafeteria and stuff. So hopefully, maybe we'll find a uh, pressure cooker in here. I mean, someone's got to cook food, right? Because I did say cafeteria. Nope. Apparently this is locked. Yeah, see, I don't like doing that. I guess did it to show you guys. You can force a lock open depending on your lock skill, <clears throat> but there's like a 50-50 chance that it's gonna break. And every time I do it, it breaks. <laughs> I don't have very good luck when it comes to that stuff, so. Okay, so I don't know if I can get striked for listening to American music. <laughs> 
Um, so I'll get to turn that off. We have some plates and stuff. Um, so apparently I just leveled up, as you guys heard. <clears throat> Ooh, rail rate spikes. And a Tesla on you, which is nice. That uh, book there. Oh, nice. Uh, that book gives us um, plus one to energy skills. Alright, so we got 19 skill points. Level 7. So we only go up to level 30 in this one. So, <clears throat> I don't want to say we're close, but we're almost. Uh, I mean, we're a good amount of levels in, anyways. Um, what do we want to do? I kind of want to do my repair up. Because when you make things, they are better. So we'll do 45. Actually, you know what? We'll do 50. Um, so at least things will be in like 50%, I'm assuming. Um, energy weapons, I want to blast that up. Actually, you know what? I would rather energy weapons be higher than my repair. So we'll do that. <clears throat> um, okay, what do we got? Fortune Finder. With the Fortune Finder perk, you'll find considerably more Nuka-Cola caps and containers than you normally would. This is going to be useful because things are expensive, as, you, as you've seen. And um, at this point, uh, if you were playing New Vegas, we would have had a good amount of caps already. But as you can see, the state of, you know, uh, Washington is not very good at all. And here is another stealth boy who's randomly sitting on the shelf. Um, now, if it was me, if I was playing on my own... To be totally honest, I'd be clearing this place out and uh, selling everything. But, um, what is there? Five weight. Um, I guess I can grab one. Actually, let's see. What's my weight at? 206. Okay, we should be alright. Um, again, like I did say, I do tend to use uh, the energy cell as, um,. Oops. Um, as currency as well. Alright, let's see. Do we have our pressure cooker in here? Let's just jump over the table. Oh, apparently not. What? Oh. So I can hear... Oh, we got noodles. Squirrel stew. So someone's been here recently and made some squirrel stew. Um, okay, so let's take a look in here. Maybe we'll find one, maybe we won't. Okay, let's see here. Pressure cooker, pressure cooker. Oh, we got some right here. Look at that. Oh, really? Can you go away, you stupid thing. Really? You want to come bother me too now? Get out of here. <laughs> awesome. So we got two. So, and another steam gauge assembly. God damn. Um, Alright, cool. So let's use this. Um... Eat our mole wrap meat. Okay. Um, I think we might be able to make another one. Or at least, or, or two even. Um, I don't remember where the workbench is, though. Get out of here. I do... Wait, did I? I can't remember. Did I put my repair up to 50? I can't remember. How do I even... There we go. Uh, 41. Wait, why is it minus? Oh. Because of my withdrawal of medics, that's why my stuff is low. Okay. I love these power frists. They're useful. Well, at least this one, because it's a special one. Um, oh, there's another one. Oh. I don't know why it does a bunch of extra punches sometimes. Um, okay. Boink. Um, what do we got in here? Anything important in here? It doesn't look like a coffee mug. Muggy would love that. Personal foot locker. Of course, because our lock pick isn't... Is this the one? No. Okay, what are in these lockers? Nothing. Boop. Um, I'm guessing it's in... What's this? Yeah, so I'm guessing this is it here. Yeah, okay, this is it here. Um, 
So we're not going to do that just yet. Because we don't have the... I don't think we have the science or whatever enough. And another stealth boy. So the reason why they're giving us stealth boys and stuff here is because uh, if you don't have the proper... Um, what do you call it? Um, proper skills. Basically they open up and they come after you and they attack you. All right. So let's check in here. Did I get him? I did. Okay. All right. So let's go in here. All right. So I'm going to save this first. Okay. Let's do this. How do you see? They're all bad. Oh boy. Okay, so what we're gonna do return <coughs> return to Moira. Um so as you see, we're invisible. We didn't really dabble in the stealth boys in Vegas. But they're pretty cool, I like them. And they don't last forever either. I think they last for an hour in game, which is like um Oh shit. Um yeah, which is uh probably like ten or fifteen minutes real time. Um uh, okay. I can't remember how to get down to be honest. And I know we don't have the lockpick or the science. Yeah, let's see here. Science 31 repair and all that. Yeah. So we don't have the high enough skill to um, basically have the can have them work for us. Like the robots and stuff. I honestly can't remember. Okay, I'm going to do something crazy. <coughs> oh, okay, good. Um... Oh god. I think he's here, they're coming after us. Um, turn it up a bit, just a little bit. I noticed the, uh, when I was editing, because I make my videos, like I record and edit at the same time, as strange as that sounds. I know a lot of people edit after they make their videos, but I do them at the same time. So I'll record in a, por like a portion of it, and then I'll uh, edit it, and then I'll continue kind of thing. Um, and I noticed that the music was a little bit low. Um. Alright. Oh, so here's the workbench that I wanted. So I made one. We made two. Awesome. Now we got, so this does 16 damage now, which is really, really nice. Um. Where's that repair at anyway? 41. Can I make another one? Whoops. Okay. So the only way to actually... Oh, God. Attention. Fugitive should be considered armed and dangerous. Uh, okay, so... Oh, right, this way. Uh, so the only way to get uh, more of these, like, you have to... Shit. Oh god, the machine guns. No. Oh my god. You are no longer well rested. Yeah, obviously. Um. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh my god, I'm going around in circles. Um. That's empty. I honestly can't remember. I'm getting all turned around here. Capital Wasteland. So, we want to go like this. Your attempted escape nope. Is only ah! Oh, God. I think I'm going the wrong way again. Ow, 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 ow. Run. Yep, this is the front door. Holy 
Holy crap. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. This is why I like the super nighttime. This is really cool. Um, I actually want to take a screenshot of this right now. Um, how do I... How do capacity? Zero. That actually looks really cool. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I need to change this to uh, keyboard mode. How do I... Like this. Go like that. And I think we get to press print screen. And I don't know if it did anything. I have no idea. But, regardless, I don't know if it did or not. Let's get back to Moira. I can check later if it did or not. If not, I can always come back to Robco and uh, come back here, of course, and do it. Um, so let's go. I'm hoping those robots aren't bad out front. No, they're not. Okay. So let's go back here, talk to Moira. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to leave the episode right here after I talk to Moira. Because we got this part done. All right. And like usual, we're gonna just going to go back. Go to sleep. Alrighty. Now, well Alright, so Dog Me is still here. That's good. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to tell him to come with us. And then I'm going to tell him to wait. Uh, stay here. Hold still. The stim pack. Um, wait here. It's I don't like how he, it's kind of mean. Stay here and don't move till I come back. It's kind of mean how you word it, but I mean that's basically how you tell him to wait. I guess I don't know. Okay, ten o'clock's good because the shops open at uh, ten o'clock, or sorry, nine uh, nine nine a.m. is when they open. Um, and the reason why I told him to come with me and then wait is to restart the week, uh, the week counter. Because uh, he stays here for a week and then he disappears to out front of Vault 101, which is fine because he doesn't, there's no bad guys there. Um, but as long as we come back and every once in a while just tell him to come with us and then tell him to stay, you know, he won't go anywhere. Um, alright, so, let's see, what do we got here food-wise? So let's drop all these off. Um, drop them off. And I think I left, yeah, Stealth Boy. So Stealth Boys, we'll, we'll keep one with us, <coughs> just in case something bad happens. Um, let's see here. All our caps. Um, paint gun, these, that, all them. Whoops. I want the food sanitizer. Now, if I was playing on my own, there is something else I do like to do as well. It's something like I would rush to do. There's a thing uh, you can go to, and it's like in the middle of... I think it's either here or here. There's a place called uh, Underworld. Um, I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Uh, but it's a place in Underworld where there's a character. They're not doing so well. Um, so that takes you into a whole grand quest, which we're going to do eventually. Um, but long story short, uh, without really spoiling anything, the reason they got into the predicament that they got in, I'm trying to word it without spoiling, um, is they're basically trying to map out uh, all of the, the wasteland. And you can actually get a, a map marker thing um, that records every place that you find. Um, and you turn in the map, like you give them a copy of, of the map um, of all the places you've discovered, and you can get money that way too. Um, so when I play in my main, like when I play on my own, I usually that's one of the first places I like to rush to go to. Um, although it's very difficult to do because it's <clears throat> right in the heart of downtown. There's lots of super mutants, um, and it gets gets very dangerous, and it's it's very hard, and you know. 
I don't want to be rushing to places that we don't need to go necessarily to yet. Um, why is that? Oh, right. So, okay, so that's just telling us to go there so we can reprogram the robots, but we don't have the skill for that. All right, so we're going to go here, tell Moira, be like, hey, look, we were programmed robots, but um, they went kind of crazy. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? I was able to get the robots online again, but I couldn't control them. Oh, great. Reactivating long dormant technology is definitely a good step towards the survival of humanity as a whole. Then again... Maybe it's more dangerous if it's active but uncontrolled. How did it turn out? Um, the unit went into the computer, then the robots woke up pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. It's a bit surprising how sturdy and easy to use a lot of the junk tech is. Guess they made it sturdy and simple back then. It helps to have the right tool for the job. Failing that, go with the right tool to cheat at the job. Like a pulse grenade. Here, have a couple. These things are very useful pulse grenades against robots. Um, same thing with power armor, actually. Um, actually, I can't. I honestly can't remember if they're good against power armor. At least in this one, I know in Fallout New Vegas, a pulse grenades are very useful, especially if you're going against the Brotherhood of Steel. Like if you're not siding with them. And if you side with the, um, the Legion and stuff, um, or even, even if you side with the NCR like we did, you can, uh, when they're told, sorry, when you're told by, uh, Colonel Moore to destroy the Brotherhood, um, <coughs> once you activate the generator thingy, um, you have to attack the Brotherhood, obviously, uh, so... Yeah, I can't remember if the pulse grenades are good. I know they're really good against the power armor in Vegas, but I can't remember if they're good against them in this one. I know they're very good against robots in this one, though. Um, I'm ready to continue your research. I want to find out the history of how a successful settlement like Rivet City got started. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine a whole building full of books. I'll need you to gather information there for me. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So, what'll it be? Um, we'll do that one. River City. Okay. Um, um, actually, what we're gonna do is digging up history. Basically, she just says, um, I don't think I want to do that one. I'll check out the, yeah. So we're gonna do that one. Check out the library. Um, Let's see if she has anything for sale here, just in case we might have something to sell. Uh, lead pipe, missile launcher, pulse grenade, switchblade. Um, looks like we're pretty okay here. Silenced. Uh, see, this one's pretty good too. Um, I mean, it's really. Oh man. Um, screw it. So we'll sell the one cap. See? So there we go. So now I can get nine caps back. So we'll do that. Um, Good hunting. And then I can just repair that with my regular uh, 10 millimeter pistol. Because um, it's pretty good for taking out things quietly. I mean, obviously, if... I mean, you'd have to, like, one, one shot them, which is pretty hard to do with the pistol. Um... But it's still pretty useful. Um, okay, so let's go here. And I guess what we're going to do is we will make our... We're going to have silenced one. Oops. Um, awesome. So we got four damage for that, which is really good. Um, Alright, so let's just drop everything into the box here. Okay, uh, stealth bullet. Oh. All right, we were gonna keep them. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna save this and the episode here. Uh, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go through our locker, um, 
and basically sell all the items like all the doubles like I'm gonna try to repair the things like if I have a double machine gun I'll try and repair them um, but the things that I can't use to repair uh, I'll sell them off so we can pretty much have one of everything um, being, we're not gonna use every weapon in the game obviously um, but I like to collect stuff you know the teddy bear and the, the nuka colas and all that fun kind of stuff um, so let's just save this up for a second time you can't save um, <coughs> no such thing as saving too many times that's for sure um, let's go to the main menu all right so like I said I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup of our um, what do you call it our weapon storage box and then um, then for the next episode we should be good to go I am actually going to um, down or uh, delete the game reinstall the game I'm hoping really hoping it's gonna fix the uh, aiming um, and then for the next episode, we'll be good to go. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode of Fallout 3. But until then, have a good day.